What's up, you guys? It's Brianna. So we are here at my new construction job site, but it's kind of loud outside. Oh, God. But it's right there. It's kind of loud. So I'm just going to be filming from in here because I want you guys to be able to hear me. <laughs> They're going ahead and placing the cinder blocks now. And I will insert a clip from yesterday where they had put in the cement and now they put the cinder blocks on top of that for the footings and whatnot. I'm not going to act like I'm a licensed contractor and like I'm the one building it like I know every single thing. But I generally know the steps of building a house. So what they do is that they lay out this concrete and over this they're going to put the cinder block probably tomorrow or the day after that. And that's going to create a really good strong foundation for our house when it gets done being built. I'll just take you guys around the construction site if you guys want to look at everything. But today I'm going to talk to you guys about something that's really a missed opportunity. There are so many ways to make money in real estate and today I'm going to teach you why I'm doing new construction and selling it so you guys can understand this missing opportunity. I would say this is one of the most overlooked opportunities in real estate. I know there's flipping, there's wholesaling, there's being a real estate agent, there's rental properties and all that stuff is great. But what I've noticed is that even if I look up building spec homes or building new construction properties to sell, there's very few videos on YouTube going in detail about it. And when I do search it up, the thing I'm seeing the most is flips so I think we really need to talk about this opportunity so let's get right on into it so building a house the way I'm doing it now is called spec new construction when it comes to building new construction properties you can either build a custom home which is when a buyer comes to a builder so they can design their own custom dream home and build it but a spec home is a move-in ready new construction home that a builder intends to build and sell for a profit these houses are a lot easier to do because it's kind of all up to you as opposed to when you're building for a client well you're working for the client so you have to follow all their cost customizations and all their requests for their house but when you're building a spec house like the one we're doing this is a standard three bed two bath cookie cutter house and these are easier to build because they're just like basic standard floor plans and I'll show you my floor plans right over here So you may ask, Brianna, how can I build a new construction house and sell it for a profit? And why would I do that over flipping or something else like that? So when it comes to the steps of doing this, I will put them all right here for you to see, and then we'll go into more detail on them. But there's find the land, get your plans done, get bids from contractors, figuring out your management, submitting everything to the city and getting everything approved. Then they're starting the build. And last thing is setting it up for sale. Now I know that seems like quite the process, but before I go into details into that, let's answer the other question of why would you do this over flipping? Building a new construction house is actually a lot less riskier than flipping because you know your cost up front and your prices don't change that often as opposed to when you're rehabbing an already existing home I hear so many horror stories of people spending an extra 15 20 30 50 K rehabbing a house because there's some issues that the inspector didn't see and even if it's not that dramatic of a difference I do see that it is harder to stay within a budget when you are rehabbing homes but also think about how many people flip homes versus do new construction homes new construction is in high demand and there's low competition, which is why I recommend getting into it, which is why I'm doing it because I realized that there is such low competition. And I understand because building a new construction house can take more capital and be more work than flipping a property, but you can also make a lot more money because new homes sell for a premium because they're brand new homes. So as you can see, this can be really profitable. And you know what else can be really profitable is hitting the subscribe button because your net worth goes up when you hit the subscribe button. It's just science, that's just how it works. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go into detail on the seven steps that I mentioned earlier. Step number one is find the land and my job site's looking like this right now but it started out as a patch of grass. Here's just some progression photos for you. We were holding on to the land for a while before we could finally close on it and start the build. But here's just some foundation work of the beginning steps of building a house. It's looking pretty good and it's moving along nicely. A way that you can go about finding land and how we found these lots. By the way, we own this lot and the lot over there next to it and we're gonna be building a house over there too. But one way that we can go about finding land and how we found these is just driving around and looking for lots. If they don't have a for sale sign, contact an agent and see if they can pull up the tax records so we can find the owner. That's exactly what we did with these. Called up the owner, offered him some money and he decided to sell them to us. He wanted 75K originally, but we were able to get away with 60K for both lots, which sounds pretty good to me, 30K per lot. 
that. Now the next thing to do is, is find an architect or go ahead and find the builder because they normally have those connections and get your floor plans done. A lot of the time it's hard to find a good builder. So, so a lot of the time an agent can help you with this too. You talk to an agent and usually if they're a good agent that does a lot of business, they work with a couple builders that they could refer you to. And then the builder could refer you to a good architect. Step number three is to get bids. And now what does this mean? This means that once you have your plans and everything on paper, you're going to show this to a bunch of contractors and they're going to tell you how much it's going to cost you to build this house. From here, you can get a look at all the bids and then pick what contractor you want to work with. Now, the good thing about this is that this price rarely changes. This is basically a solidified price for the build of your property, which is something that you can't do with flipping and something that's cool about new construction. Step number four is managing the process. Now, you can hire a project supervisor, a builder, or you can supervise it yourself. But basically what managing entails is making sure everything stays on track, everything's moving as it should, and there has to be someone that's keeping everything in order. Now, if this is your first time building a property, it's recommended that you have someone else oversee the property that's done it before and get the project done right and maybe you can shadow them watch them do it and then learn something from them with whatever it is you need to learn from someone who's done it before you that will always help no matter what endeavor you're going into it's always a great idea to find someone who's done it before you that you can learn from step number five is getting all your necessary paperwork together and getting it approved by the city now you might not even know what you need so this is something that I would talk to a builder about because this is something they do every single day so they would be able to tell you what paperwork you need and how to get it to the city and after that you need to go take it get approved signed and then you're ready for the next step step number six now this is where it gets exciting we're starting the build this is something that the project manager will help with but you need to create a timeline of when everything needs to be done so you can stay on track because otherwise it will not get done in time and ideally if you do this the house should be done in three to four months now step number seven is to go ahead and put it up for sale get it with an agent and get it listed now something that benefits me is that I am a realtor and so I'm gonna be saving those realtor commission fees because I'm I'm just gonna sell it myself I'm not saying get your real estate license solely to do that but I just happen to already be a realtor when I decided to do this and so that's just a benefit <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a progress update of how the build's going but right now they're putting down the cinder blocks yesterday they had put in the cement and I think next we're gonna be doing the framing but I'm not gonna act like I'm a licensed contractor I'm just gonna show you what's being done plenty of people have told me that they've actually never seen a construction site for a home build before the house is actually there uh, it's so I'm just gonna take you guys around the construction site so you can see what it's currently looking like but this is where the home building process starts is just putting all the foundation work down for the house to have a strong place to stand on but you guys can look around and comment down below what you think If you want free stuff, check out the links down below and comment any questions you have about building, investing, whatever it is, and I'll answer back. Be sure to check me out on Instagram and TikTok where you can learn things in less than one minute increments. Comment if you watch this to the end because I know you're gonna be a future millionaire. I appreciate you so much. Have a good rest of your day.